Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to lock any app you want on your iOS 17 device with your face ID or your passcode. It is actually very easy to do. Everyone can do that and it's very, very effective. Of course, even though we're on iOS 17, there's still no like feature to do that but we have a trick here which works very well. So the first thing you want to do is head on to the shortcuts app, go to the automation section and tap on new automation, then go ahead and find app here. And what I need you to do now is choose the apps that you want to lock. So here we have a few apps that we can choose and of course lock these, tap the dumb button right there, make sure you switch here to run immediately and then tap on the next button, tap on new blank automation, and right here, search for lock screen. So tap on add action, search for lock screen. And once you find lock screen, just hit it, tap the dumb button, and now you're good to go. You have now actually just locked those three apps. And this is how it works. Basically, once someone wants to open those apps, it directly switches to the lock screen. So it locks your device immediately. And the only way to get on those apps is actually to unlock the device via the face ID or the passcode. So as you can see, as I enter the passcode, it does go right into the app, which is pretty cool. Now, another thing you can do here is of course, edit the apps that you have locked. So you go here and you go onto the automation that you have created and then go here. And of course, any of the three apps where it says right there, you will have the apps here. You can add more of course, or just edit, remove any app that you don't want to lock anymore. There is another thing you can do here, which is really interesting. So let's say you give your iPhone to someone to just take a look at an app and you want them to just stay specifically on that app. But if that person moves out of the app, you can lock the device immediately. Now you can do that as well. So just pick the app you want to do that for. So let's say the calculator here. And now in this case, the only thing we're doing here is we're switching is open to is closed. So deselect that, select that. And now you have created this new automation, which allows you to actually lock your device once someone gets out of an app that you want them to be in. So if they just get out of the calculator app, the device automatically locks. And now let me show you guys another method that you can use to actually lock someone within apps on your iOS device. So first of all, you will need to head on to your settings, go under accessibility, and then go here to guided access. Make sure you have this enabled and go to passcode settings and make sure you have a passcode for your guided access. Once you have done that, now head back to the shortcuts app, create a new automation. And again, here, find the apps that you want to lock and tap the dumb button. Make sure you tap on run immediately, tap next. And here, tap on new blank automation and search for guided access. Here we have start guided access, tap the dumb button, and now we're good to go. Now, when we try to open this app, it will automatically start guided access. Now, of course, if someone is here, you can see they won't be able to do anything. They won't be able to actually get out of the app. They are stuck here. The only way to actually get out of here is to enable, of course, the face ID or use the passcode. So if you just want to get out of the app using your face ID, you double tap the side button. If you want to use the passcode, just press three times there and you can enter the passcode and now, of course, unlock this app. Now, when you come to this screen with guided access, you can also tap on options here and you can choose what you want to enable while guided access is actually enabled well you want to allow touch or motion or of course the side button or anything else if you disable everything here no one will be able to do anything on that app once they have opened so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are the two different methods which you can use to lock apps with face id or passcode on ios 17. hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did of course subscribe for more videos and i'll see you on the next one